Hello. Hi. How nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. How are you? Oh, very excited about the finishing of Erasmus project. Very excited imagine. about it. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Waiting for you in Italy again. Oh, it's my dream. Earth. It's my dream. Oh. I will definitely come, uh, especially if, uh, in the south of Italy. I remember the south is more important than the north. <laughs> Claudia, uh, you know that uh, we wanted to meet with you because we want to discuss Erasmus project from your perspective, from your point of view. Uh, yes. And let me ask you first, why Erasmus project? Why did you uh, choose it in the first place? Okay, uh, as, as you know, I was contacted by Eva on the e-twinning platform because mm -hmm. I'm a e-twinners Mm -hmm. for about 60 to 70 years mm -hmm. and uh, I believe in this kind of project because uh, um, good practices and uh, professional development can be involved if you are ready to open our doors to other reality to um, to compare ourselves with other cultures other ways of working and that's why I, I am always ready to this kind of uh, opportunities, not only for me, but for all the school and first of all, for my students, because the, the final target of this kind of experience, I think, is uh, our students grow. I want to give them more and more opportunities I can. Mm -hmm. That's love. But uh, was it difficult to convince your headmaster, your colleagues to implement projects like Erasmus or eTwinning? Uh, yes, sometimes uh, it's a little bit difficult, but I think because um, we are afraid of what we don't know. Mm -hmm. And uh, for this reason, uh, sometimes we are close because we want to be teacher as we were teacher yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, we, um, we are afraid of new challenges. But I think um, the, the role and the duty of people uh, believing in this kind of activities is to guide their uh, school community to, to have a chance, to, to try. Mm -hmm. uh, we can make mistakes, that's not matter. But the important thing is not to be always the same because we live and we work in a, a society uh, changing with high speed. So we can't stop because the world go, goes on. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, what were your expectations when you heard that uh, two Polish groups want to visit you? Were you afraid at any point? <laughs> no, 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 not at all, not at all. First of all, because uh, it was not my first experience mm -hmm. with... Um, I had a, a, a Comenius project some years ago and uh, I was involved in uh, an Erasmus Plus project, KA1, Betty Bass was our project that um, yesterday evening we definitely closed with the final mm -hmm. event, as you know. But I know that this kind of experience is, um, is the door for new opportunities and also for new energies. So I know that you have to invest lots of energy of time to to arrange everything mm -hmm. but then the result is much more bigger than what you have invested mm -hmm. so um, my expectations were definitely positive and uh, also the results i think i hope the same for you <laughs> <laughs> wonderful thank you and uh, after our visit what were the positive sides of having us at your school do you notice any? Yes, most of my um, uh, colleagues in the school told, wow, Claudia, that's what wonderful. We have to have new experiences like this. But above all, my students were so excited. The fact that my younger students, you know, uh, last year they were uh, six, just six years old. They have the opportunity to speak in English with mm -hmm. other people. 
they told to their family and this was really great. Mm -hmm. And uh, was our visit and different visits that you uh, hosted at your school some kind of an encouragement for your students to learn more languages in general, foreign languages? Yes, from the point of view of the students, uh, they, they are really encouraged and uh, um, they, they realize they have to, to improve more and more because uh, knowing a foreign language like English, for example, uh, gives you lots of opportunities uh, mm -hmm. to, to travel all over the world. To, to come in contact with the people speaking different language. And uh, during my twinning project, for example, with Polish partners, Romanian partners, Turkish partners or Greek partners, I asked my students, can we speak Greek? No. Can they speak Italian? No. So how can we solve this problem? By speaking English. Okay, so let's improve our English. Yes, yes. That's the key question. Can we speak German? Can we sp uh, speak Italian? No, but we can speak English both sides. And that's uh, a great encouragement also for our students. Because as we said, after being in Spain, after being in Italy, that we used only English to communicate, they were a little bit surprised and also encouraged to learn more, learn better for communication. Uh, and I have the impression that uh, even though the teachers were on Erasmus project, the students can um, learn something positive also from our stay uh, at your school and uh, from the uh, Spanish school. Uh, I can see that Eva is taking pictures constantly. <laughs> Please send me the pictures, Eva. <laughs> Yes, we will send you the pictures, we will send you the interview. And uh, what are your plans for the next uh, months of the school year? Are you uh, interested in any cooperation with Erasmus at Twinning Projects or you focus now on your school only? Uh, no, I'd like to, to start a new twinning project today to involve my uh, fifth grade uh, primary school students. Mm -hmm. um, on the other end, with my second grade students, I will go on with the um, training project started last year about science. Mm -hmm. The title was What a Wonderful World. It was about science, scientific uh, observation and the respect of uh, nature in general. Okay. So maybe it would be possible to work with you only now, <laughs> but with your friends in the future. And um, from my side, that's it, I guess. Yes. Uh, thank you, Claudia, for your time. It was such a pleasure to talk to you and uh, see you as well. How is your family? Is everything OK? Everything is OK with my family. Thanks. That's great. So greetings for your colleagues, for your family. It was wonderful to see you once again. Thank you. Very much. Thanks again. <laughs> Thanks to you for this opportunity and for this invitation. Thank you very much. I hope in future uh, cooperation in the years to come with you. Any kind of cooperation, you are welcome. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank Thank you. You. Bye -bye. Bye.